Hello everyone, welcome to a uh, very wet and soggy version of Tank Talk Tuesday. Uh, special edition from my uh, tubs in my driveway on location. Um, as you see right here, I'm doing a partial water change thanks to Mother Nature. Uh, nice and rainy. So, um, anyways, uh, you see this is very well shaded. So it keeps it cooler. It doesn't want to get like morning sun, which happens way across. Um, it's, it doesn't even get mostly even shaded then, so it doesn't heat up too much. Uh, so it doesn't cook them in the summertime. Um, but uh, I have pretty much condensed uh, most of my uh, female guppies, and most of them are the ones that I got from the wild caught group, um, are in this tub right here. This is one of those just basic $6 Walmart rope tub. I think it's 17 gallons. I have some some yarn in the bottom to give some, some fry cover. And I'm going to go ahead and feed them right now. It's using the uh, eyedropper technique. And the rain's really coming now, so I hope you can still hear me. Uh, I'm not sure how much you can really hear or see, but the females are pretty happy. Um, I hope. Let me just make sure all the... Black worms are gone here. Yep, they're all gone. It's all cleared out. So there's one or two guppies in this one that I'm trying to get out so I can put them in here because this is basically just to try to get these uh, sub adult uh, female guppies to be fully grown um, um, guppies. And then I can use this one for a uh, breeding sock. I'm going to eventually put the um, pretty male uh, mosaic, uh, Dumbo uh, mosaic guppy uh, in this tub. I'll put a link to that right here, um, to that video. You, you can see him. Um, I eventually plan to put the um, to put the uh, jade head uh, guppy I got last weekend, and the um, what is it? The uh, that really pretty fancy female guppy with uh, awesome fin. I plan to put them in here with a similar color uh, female guppy in this tank right here. I'll put a link to that video so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll put that um, right right here. Um, this one will be like an overgrow tank for right now. And then right here, you see I have nine five-gallon buckets. And this one, these are basically going to be fry grow out. Um, I was getting the female out of here yesterday, and I already found some fry. Although I think they're hiding at the bottom down there right now. Hiding in the yarn, which is good. That's a, that's a really good sign. There's some uh, mosquito larvae in here for them to eat. That's new since yesterday. Um, where are they? I think they're down at the bottom. So, um, let's see if I see any someone around once I move the yarn here. Uh, I know I saw about six or so in here yesterday at least. Just at first glance. Not seeing very much movement. Might be a little bit too cool for them. Probably hiding in the yarn. I know they didn't jump out. Oh, there's a fry. I see one. Kind of mid-level. I see a fry. Right, right here. It's right in front of my the turkey baster. I see a fry. Um, moving kind of slow because it's the rain's cooling things off a little bit, adding some more extremely soft water. The rest of these are basically I'm just growing some green water for the fry to feed off of, and that'll be great to have that. I'll also show you my uh, rain barrels while I'm out here, and um, the rain barrel setup is actually overflowing. As you see, this is a 30, 32 gallon. Uh, trash can that I obviously built myself. I um, have a spigot or over on this side, use a watering can for my gardening stuff. Uh, these are two seven gallon buckets actually that are fully uh, filled up. Five gallon bucket that I'll pour, pour things into. And then uh, this is my small starter like lettuce is right here, and spinach is right here, and some strawberries over here. And then some more lettuces over here as a hosta and my daughter's uh, stick garden that she, she's trying to grow. But um, but yeah, so that's my uh, 
Tank Talk Tuesday special summer soggy tubbin uh, uh, edition. Um, it's really testing out my my phone case here, trying to keep my head over the phone as much as possible to keep it from um, getting completely wet. But um, let's see here, does that help at all? No, actually where I'm standing. It's killing two birds with one stone. You can see it better and keep my camera dry too. So, my phone dry, I mean. But, see they're still being pretty active. There's a smaller female that I need to get her out of there um, when I put that male in there. But this water is staying nice and clear for now. I'll add in some more. I feed them pretty much once a day or so with the black worms until I see a good amount of uh, mosquito larvae in, in here. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on in this tub. So hopefully that's a much better picture than what you were seeing earlier. Let's see if I can fully cover it. I mean, I'm a pretty wide guy here, so it should be pretty easy to do. And this is actually a much bigger tank than they were in earlier with, with the 10 gallon. So um, I'll put some more yarn in here for more uh, fry cover, but that's what they are. And you probably can't see in this one at all. So, so dark in this one. And yeah, this one's completely clear. It's got a few um, female sub-adults in here. Where are they? Um, there's one right underneath, right there at the end of the turkey base or at the bottom. Actually, both of them are right there. One, oh, there are one and two are right there. So that's what's going on there. So um, let me know what you think. Uh, I look forward to having this as the breeding, especially with that fancy fan female. I uh, look forward to the results of that. Um, look forward to seeing what kind of uh, varieties I get out of the fry in these five gallon fry grow out buckets. And these are the base of the breeding ones for the adults. And see what I get out of here is my plan. So, um, if you have any ideas or uh, suggestions to ha how to make this, this better, um, let me know in the comments below. I'll appreciate any constructive uh, criticism. Um, let me know if you um, have any questions. I obviously put those in the comments below. I love answering questions. And uh, yeah, so that's basically, I don't know how much more there is to, to say about that. I'm gonna get inside. I, I do have enough sense to get in from the rain eventually. So I um, hope you have a nice uh, Tank Talk Tuesday and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and turn on the notifications so you can stay updated with all these um, strains strange strains that I'll be making here hopefully so uh, stay updated and have a good one keep it fishy people